Um, GB, that's my man. Shout out to my boy Bart. Shout out to Slow Bucks and everybody. Um, that's who put me on with GB. As soon as I moved to New York, of course, you know me, I'm on TV every day, so I always wanted to make sure I had like the fly kicks. And I wanted to make sure that I was, uh, you know, always on my game. And when they brought me here, just built a relationship with GB. And, you know, we did something dope for like Freestyle Friday, like on 106, where, you know, we actually uh, hooked the win up with some gear from the store. And then after that, we kind of just been in cahoots. Uh, my homies come in, buy kicks from him. He show love, we show love. And that's just kind of how the, 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 I would say the, the shoe marriage is between us all, really. So, uh, but now GB, man, a good stand up dude. And he, and he got the store popping. You know, we was fucking with GB when he was like next door. At the little shit, now he got like the shed of the lids and all he missing is like the marble staircase in the stool. But other than that, we here and y'all can see we um, came in and picked up some shit. So we got these OG originals. Um, what else we fucking with? Nothing too crazy, of course. Taxis. And then, uh, of course, you got the Gamma joints, which was like the most biggest bootleg Jordan of all time. Like, these shoes was out like forever ago, so. I remember when the Jordan used to just come. Now it's like three pieces of paper. We got these. We'll get about two wears of these, and we'll throw these up in the closet. You know what I'm saying? Tell us what you think about those right there compared to like other classic 11s that came out in the years past. To me, the best 11s is, uh, Ain't nothing fucking with the, uh, the black and whites. The, the first design. Oh, yeah, ain't nothing messing with them. I would look at these like jump men's. Because I've always been like, every number of the Jordan, I want the first number of the design. I feel like that's more important to me. Like the grapes, like them, he didn't wear them. So it's like, it's more of like a, a fashion, like fad type. All the grapes is like for the new era. But it's like for me, like, yeah, it is dope. But it don't hold no value to me. Like the grapes don't really hold a value as much as like the fives. That's the the, the all white red. Them shits down there. Them, them fives. That's killer. I want them. Then if it's like the sevens, I want the first design of the seven that came. Like those ones are like the premier ones to me. Like even the black and blue ones. I'm like I never seen Mike wear them. Maybe he wore them in a poster for a shoot, but like. He Mike was in the garden with these shits, like the Boston Garden, like going at bird and these, so it's like, it's just different. And that's pretty much me. So with these, I just rock them. But they don't hold no no value to me. That's why I, my homie Bart would be like, he about to wear these to the store before he wear them out. And like, when he right, I'll go walking in these and wear yeah, those. I'm like a one to 10. Oh. To me, like a six. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm such like a, I'm an original dude. So you know it's hard. Like if you're an original dude, it's it's tough. But I give it like a six. I, but I don't think he'll. The Columbias and them Concords is it as far as for them 11s. Them the hardest ones. And you know he ain't even released the all white them Columbias. And when, if he ever do that, I got him though. But they the OGs. But if he ever release, it's over. He, he ain't dropped them since the 90s. Yeah. That shit will fly out of here. He should drop them next summer. All white for the summertime. It's over. He dropped them Columbians, bro. You know you're going to have them. It's over. LeBron is a f friend who actually sent boxes to the crib. It's like... This came from LeBron, nigga. It was a joke, we laughed, but imagine the people with that thought who really will shoot you over some sneakers.